Are you planning to buy a new BP machine but are confused how to choose the best one for you? If yes, then this video is for you. So in this video, I will be giving you 7 tips on how to choose the best BP instrument or digital BP machine for you. So let's begin. So tip number 1. Choose the BP machine with a cuff which needs to be tied to the arm. So what do we mean by cuff? Cuff is the rectangular end of the BP machine or the rectangular band which needs to be tied to your arm. So in market there are two types of BP machines available. One which is having a cuff that needs to be tied to your wrist and the other one which is having a cuff which needs to be tied to your arm. In general, those BP machines which are having the cuff that needs to be tied to the arm are more accurate than the BP machines having the wrist cuff. So choose the BP machine with arm cuff. So tip number two, adequate bladder length. What is bladder? Bladder is a inflatable part which is inside the cuff. Scientifically and by guidelines it is said that this bladder should cover at least 80% of the circumference of your arm. Now how do you know that your cuff has got that much length? So you just look uh, at the box, uh, the box packing of uh, this BP instrument or even over the cuff. So you will find a particular measurement in centimeters is written there and this measurement is the length or the circumference of the arm that this particular bladder will cover. If the length given there is 22 to 32 centimeters, then this is the adequate size for most of the adult population in India. Even if it is slightly longer than this, that will do. But a bladder a length which is shorter than this will usually be inadequate. Now third and very important, ease of use. Why this is important? Because many a times this BP instrument will be used by elderly people. That's the reason why ease of use is very very important. So what do we see here? Number one, the display of this digital machine should be large enough and the numbers which appear there should be large enough to be easily read. The buttons which need to be pressed should be again large enough to be pressed easily. Third, this instrument should be small and easily portable so that even if you want to take it to anywhere you can just keep it in the back and it is it can be easily moved from one place to another place and apart from that one very important thing that you should take care of it is the uh, the functioning of this instrument should be totally automatic which means the inflation of the cuff or inflation of the bladder should be done just with the press of a button uh, not like that you need to pump in somewhere so inflate to inflate the bladder just press the button and inflation should be done so it should be fully automatic tip number four check at the shop now this is something which many shopkeepers may not allow you to check the instrument and the inflation at the shop so in that case you always have the option to buy these instruments online and as you know most of the online shops will give you uh, at least seven days return policy so what exactly you need to do here? You have to just measure your BP with the instrument right there in the shop itself and take three such readings with a gap of around two to three minutes between two readings. How to exactly measure the BP? I have already made a video on that. I'll put a card in this video. So see there how to measure the BP. So measure BP three times back to back with a gap of around two to three minutes in between two readings. In all these three readings, from my experience, I can tell you that if the upper reading which is known as the systolic blood pressure is uh, not different or not beyond 10 millimeters of mercury from each other then in that case you can say that the measurement by this instrument is fairly good enough so for example your first reading of the upper bp is coming 120 the second reading is coming say 124 and the third reading is coming say 118 then it means that all these numbers are within 10 millimeters of mercury or within 10 points of each other so in that case this instrument is good enough tip number five check with the doctor so take this instrument to your nearby doctor doctors usually check blood pressure with something known as a mercury bp machine or the mercury sphygmo manometer or the aneroid uh, bp machine now these machines are usually much more accurate than the digital ones so request your doctor to measure the BP with his machine and then you recheck BP with your own machine immediately after the doctor checks your BP. If these two readings, the upper reading, the systolic one 
if again these two readings are within 10 points of each other for example the upper reading measured by doctor is like like 120 and the upper reading measured by your instrument is 124 then in that case you can say that again this instrument is good enough so a difference of up to 10 millimeters of mercury is good up to 15 is also acceptable in some cases but if it is beyond 15 then in that case please return the instrument it's not a good one tip number six now this is not something medical this is a very common sense see for a warranty right so if a particular company is giving you a warranty this is an indirect indication of the quality of that instrument so you should get a warranty of at least one year with your instrument if the warranty is less than that please do not go with these instruments and tip number seven please avoid any fancy features fancy features like bluetooth connectivity availability of a smartphone app or storage features all these things are usually and in most of the cases are not required you need a simple machine that can measure your blood pressure accurately that's it if there are these all fancy features then usually they are of no significant utility rather they will increase the cost of your bp machine please note that uh, in most of the cases you can get a good digital bp machine anywhere between rupees 1000 to rupees 2500 there is no need to spend more than this on any uh, digital BP machine. So please don't go behind all these uh, fancy features. Take a simple good machine and that's it. I hope uh, the uh, information that I have given in this video will be helpful to you in choosing the best and most suitable BP machine for your home use. If you have found this uh, information to be useful, please share it with your friends, relatives, colleagues for everybody's benefit. If you have any suggestions, any queries or any comments, please post in the comment section below. And till the next video, bye bye.